Are you tired of sitting at home and miss going to events like you did in the before times? Then I've got good news for you. On September 23rd and 24th, we're hosting MX Hacks 2022 Low Code for Good, the biggest low code hackathon the world has ever seen. And you're invited. Assemble a team of up to four hackers and join us in Boston, London, Rotterdam, or Singapore to hack your way to the top, supporting nonprofit organizations that focus on improving lives, safeguard the environment, conquer disease, fight for justice, and advance other good causes in the world. Oh, and on top of that, you can join workshops, training sessions, meet and greets, and much more. And did I mention there's swag? There's swag, and it's pretty awesome. Enter your details at menix.com mxhacks to be the first to know when registrations officially open up. Let's talk about app services. For those unfamiliar with app services, they are packages of pre-configured business capabilities provided as modules that contain logic, UIs, workflows, connectors, and APIs. As flexible building blocks that include out-of-the-box integration into the Mendix development experience, app services are designed to solve discrete business problems within the context of larger solutions. So let's talk about two app services we've recently released and updated. The first is the email service. Many apps need to send emails, and the Marketplace has a couple of modules that help you do this. After listening to your feedback, it was clear that adding email functionality to your app should be as easy as drag and drop with as little manual configuration as possible. On top of that, many of you told us you wanted more control and autonomy. So I'm happy to introduce the Communication Service Console, a new place to manage your email services. For example, you can now resend a user's verification email through the console instead of having your users contact Mendix support. You can now also use the Service Console to change the email ID, which is tied to your subscription. We're also increasing the number of email ideas you get from one to five. So you can use those for all your different email requirements with the same subscription. In order to increase the probability of email delivery, the correct email domain records need to be added to the server. Before, you had to get in touch with Mendix support to generate these records. Now, with a single click, all the records can be generated in the service console. Simply download the records and share them with your IT team. Download the latest version of the email app service from the Marketplace to use these features right now. The second service we've updated is the Invoice Processing App Service, which automates the standardized invoice document processing for your users. You can drag and drop this app service into your microflows so you don't have to do any manual invoice processing anymore. The AI and OCR technologies used by this app service are powered by Abby. Next to JPEG support, we've recently added support for PDF, PNG, and BMP formats. Simply download the latest version of the Invoice Processing App Service from the Marketplace to use these new features. You can find more app services at marketplace.menix.com. I like being in control, specifically in the control center, because it provides insight into your company's activities on the Menix platform. These insights will help company admins be in control and remain aware of everything happening within the Mendix landscape of their company. For all you company admins out there, we've made some welcome improvements to the app details page. For example, the page now shows the Mendix public cloud environments, free or licensed, appended to the application. You also have more control over application projects that have a free Mendix public cloud environment with actions such as deleting apps, deactivating apps, and deleting environments. These are the first set of improvements to give company admins more control and better information about the environments in their company app landscape. For more details about these new actions, check out the app details page in your control center. Expect more updates in coming releases. Data Hub updates keep rolling out. If you remember from last month, we added the option to delete data sources from the catalog through the UI. In this update, we've also added delete operations to the catalog registration APIs v4. This makes testing the API service a lot easier as it allows for experimentation and then removal of assets, thus allowing you to fully integrate all possible scenarios into your deployment pipelines when hosting Mendix on a virtual private cloud or when registering non-Mendix data sources in the Data Hub catalog. And that brings us to the end of this release video. For a full list of new features, improvements, and fixes, check out the release blog on menix.com blog or read the release notes on docs.menix.com. 
Download Studio Pro 9.14 at marketplace.mendix.com to use all these new features right now. If you enjoyed this video, I hope we've earned your like and subscribe. I'm Jan de Vries, your low-code host. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.